friends, but I want to show you something. Every demonic oppression upon the saints depends on a certain kind of belief system. No matter what kind of spirit is sent to you, that spirit is helpless until a certain belief system is formed in you. It is the union of that spirit and your belief system that equals your tragedy. Did you hear what I said? Satan is as powerful in your life as the limitation of your belief system. So, the primary assignment of spirit is not to oppress. Is to first manipulate your understanding or build a garrison around your wrong belief system so that regardless what truth comes for your liberation, you do not sustain the intelligence to understand it. There is no spirit that is not at the mercy of your belief system. Even God, as mighty as he is, is limited by your belief system. He said, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. He says, they limited him in the wilderness. They limited the Holy One in the wilderness. How do you limit the limitless God? I want to show you something powerful. Send any kind of spirit, spirit of death, Spirit of delay, spirit of retrogression, untimely death, poverty. All those spirits will come and mark time at the gate of your mind. There is a certain mental component that empowers their entry or keeps them forever. Did you hear what I said? So the Bible says no weapon fashioned. I used to think the weapons are the arrows that fly by day. These weapons are mindsets. They are fashioned based on your weaknesses. So Satan brings your background, brings your failure, brings poor or ill mentorship and uses it to fashion a weapon. That weapon becomes the access point for spirits. So no matter the kind of deliverance you go through, once that software, that faulty thinking is still there, that deliverance session was only a waste of time. Because all he needs to do is to touch any triggers in your life and it will make you open the door through your belief system. Anger, jealousy, lust, pain, wrong memory, fear. All of them are triggers. And any one of them can bring you back to that mold and the spirit will find its way again. So complete deliverance is not just casting out demon spirits. Are we together? But a reorientation through the teaching ministry that now gives you a superior understanding, a mindset that is always superior. That way, you close the door permanently over those spirits. In fact, in order of spiritual priority, I rather teach you the truth that to minister deliverance for you. Because once that mindset is altered, the spirit itself becomes unconducive. The Bible says when spirits leave men, they go through deserts. And from the desert, there was nobody to cast them. By themselves, they left the desert and came back to the man. Light. How forcible are right words. They can force spirits out and force prophecies in. This will be your final prayer. Are you ready to pray? Once you pray, I'll just speak over this. Um, make sure immediately we're done praying or whilst we're praying, please bring out your prayer request, everybody. And for those who have not written your prayer request, let me give you a minute. We write prayer requests here as an act of faith. If you care, please write. Maybe sit for a moment. I will allow you to pray while you are sitting so you can write. That you are sitting doesn't mean you will not pray. You will pray. So just, it's not a license. Men ought always to pray. Let me give you a minute to write. Right, because everything you're writing will come to pass Amen. speedily. Amen. Hallelujah. Speedily. Hmm. A lady is going to start laughing by the spirit. It's not careless laughing. The laughing is a symbol of joy and victory. 
that has come to her family it's a holy laughter it's not something that is mechanical it's by the spirit the bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous i just saw this in the spirit and i'm speaking it unto that person and unto that family that laughter that has begun all through this year it will not cease in the name of jesus are you writing please write nobody reads your prayer request so you are liberty to write it's, it's, it's an act of your faith releasing it those outside all the overflows please write connecting online go ahead and write you can send it we're about to pray god answers prayer he does does he does not just hear prayer but he answers call upon me he says and i will answer i will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not let me give you the final prayer we're going to be praying and challenging according to second corinthians chapter 10 and verse 4 niv second corinthians 10 4 niv we're challenging by the light of god's word every faulty belief system every wrong way of thinking that is empowering failure defeat attacks delay limitations over our lives this will be our final prayer point in this miracle service niv says the weapon we fight with are not weapons of the world on the contrary it says they have divine power to demolish strongholds verse 5 says we demolish arguments every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of god and we take captive every thought every what we take captive every you can take thoughts to captivity and bring them or make it to the obedience of christ you're going to pray now whilst you're seated shout this loud shout this clear whilst you're doing that you will multitask by passing your prayer request you may pass it to the right person extreme right or extreme left so it makes it easy for the ushers you'll see them picking up the request are you ready go ahead and pray say father, father. i challenge come on shout like a believer say father, father. I, challenge I challenge by the light of god's word every faulty belief system every wrong way of thinking that is empowering failure empowering defeat empowering attacks empowering delay empowering limitations over my life and destiny i bring it to captivity now go ahead and pray every limitation by the light of god's word someone pray someone pray pray by the light of god's word every thought every mindset mindset that came from the past mindset that came from wrong mentorship mindset that came from your previous failures mindset that came from culture mindset that came from your limitations whatsoever they may be sponsoring failure sponsoring defeat sponsoring attacks delays limitations in life and destiny i bring them to captivity by the light of god's word hallelujah hallelujah jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 15 says and i will give you pastors or shepherds after my heart according to my heart it says they shall feed you why do they need to feed you what are they feeding exactly number one they are feeding your spirit number two they are feeding your mind what does it mean to feed your mind to use the word of god word applicable principles to begin to rewrite on the software of your mind reprogramming your understanding giving you a mindset that is pro victory pro christ pro destiny pro prosperity 
pro authority are we together this is the assignment of the teaching priest so you can come as you are but you must submit yourself not just to the miracle working power you must submit yourself everything in your life eventually reflects your mindset remember when I'm teaching on mindsets I teach you that sometimes many of us give loved ones our clothes maybe used clothes you can give them as a gift how many of you see that you may have worn a white cloth maybe a white shirt white trouser for a few years and it's still looking new because of your mindset you give that to some cousin or somebody somebody somewhere with a low level thinking after one month you look at that same shirt you've used for years and you want to run away do you know what has happened the mindset was transferred to that cloth Carry a CEO in his office. I have taught you this. Put him at the gate of the company and carry with all due respect many of the, especially the security that are ill-trained, just there to serve basically. Reverse them and put them to sit on the seat of the manager for one week. The first thing that will happen is that the man will most likely destroy that office because of careless use. He will steal everything there and tear every paper, use it for whatever, finish every food, every refreshment in the fridge, and then people will stop coming to the office there because the CEO at the gate will start inventing an easier system. He will first invent a system that shields him from heat, and then his cautiousness, that sense of courtesy, will make all who are coming to look for the man in the office to stop at the gate there because their problems will be stopped at the gate. I'm saying that to tell you that what distinguishes people essentially is not just the clothes they wear, it's not just their communication, it's their mindset. An Ambroba is a mindset. A man of God is a mindset. Did you hear what I said? A failure is a mindset. A CEO is a mindset. You don't necessarily call a body a CEO. When that body dies and falls to the ground, you don't call it a CEO. It is the mindset you are calling an apostle. It's the mindset you are calling a billionaire. It's the mindset you are calling a millionaire. It's the mindset you are calling a failure. So when God gives you a new name, the new name comes with a new mindset. You see that now? For you cannot put new wine in old wine skin. The problem is not the wine. The problem is the wine skin carrying it. There are times that God does not want to manage your mindset. He wants to take it away from you totally and bring something new. I'm saying this to some of us because your blessing tonight for many of us is beyond the miracles and all that you have received. The prophetic words that has come upon you as powerful as they are. It's important for you to know that God is calling you to a journey of radical transformation editing by the spirit methodically line upon line precept upon precept it's time for you to re-examine the entire span of your belief system it doesn't matter how long you've held on to them if they have not sustained the ability to produce christ and his glory through your life it's time for you to sustain the courage to look at them and begin to edit them by the spirit and this is our assignment to guide and midwife that process of transformation for you according to the measure of grace that we've been given so that you don't just shout amen and then every blessing that wants to rest upon you the requisite mindset your hand in the spirit is your mindset did you hear what I said your hand in the spirit is your mindset if I bring out one million naira and I say take you will not take it with your feet you will not take it with your head. You may bow your head to say thank you, but it's with your hand you will receive it. In the realm of the spirit, the agency for receiving is your mindset. So if God says take and your mindset is not prepared to receive it, the blessing will stay as a prophetic reality and never manifest in your life. It matters not just that you receive prophecy. It matters that you endure sound doctrine to the end that your understanding be thoroughly furnished. 
there is a kind of mindset the anointing is looking for there is a kind of mindset favor is looking for are we still together there is a kind of mindset speed is looking for there is a kind of mindset you are trusting God to move from say 1,000 membership to 10,000 to 20,000 it doesn't just come because of you your age your size no there is a mindset that can host that level of glory the Bible says there are many stars and that even among the stars one differeth from another in glory God wants to do much in the lives of many of us here I perceive but there is still a faulty understanding our belief systems our ignorance as to knowing the ways of God and how the systems of the kingdom operate there is the reason why we are here every time we grant access to our teachings the reason why we do these things is so that you will be able to receive the word of God